today I'm going to read the Berenstein Bears Get the Gimmies by, by Stan and Jan Berenstein, a first time book within stickers inside. Here's some stickers. There are a store of clothes. When the cub's behavior takes a turn for the worse, it's hard for parents to know what to do first. The Berenstain Bears get the gimmies! By San Jan Berenstain. <laughs> I'm sorry I did that. Of course, the members of the bear bear family who lives in lived in the big tree house down signed the road in bear, de, road, road, bear country loved each other loved each other very much. Brother, sister bear loved their mom and papa. Each naturally, mom and papa bear loved their their cubs, uh, and of course, they were nice to them. As nice as they could be. But sometimes, sometimes they were a little too nice. Sometimes the cubs got too many toys, too many treats, too, too many treats, too many toys, and too many rides on a bucking duck at the mall. May oh, may oh, free. That's why brother and sister bear got the gimmies. Well, maybe it was because their treats, toys, and fine things to do. Wherever they, they looked at supermarket, at the mall, on TV, and just about every which where. Maybe. That was why they began making a fuss to get what they wanted, especially at the supermarket checkout, where there was always stacks and stacks of candy and other goodies. Now, cops, some mom bear as the family got into checkout line. We can't have a big fuss every time we pass candy. I simply won't stand for it. Wine sister, they have gummy gumballs, my favorite, and chewy chompers, my favorite. Wine brother, now hush, said Mama. I simply won't listen to another word. That's when Papa Bear smiled and said, Now, Mama, I simply won't listen to another word. word. Now, that's when Popper smiled and said, Now, Mama, you're only young once. Handed the cubs for their, and handed the cubs for their favorite treats. It's only too true, said Mama as they were leaving the supermarket, that you're only young once. But that's all the more reason to learn once. Uh, that's not the more re re reason to learn proper behavior while you're still young. And I certainly think. Look, look, shouts sister. A new ride. Hey, a bucking frog, shout brother. May we ride it, please? May we, may we, please? Just bought them treats and he t 
Chihuahua thought that that was enough for one day, but the cubs made such a fuss that he sighed, dug into his pocket, and put some money in the slot. Papa looked at Mom and shrugged. Cubs will be cubs, he said. That cubs will be cubs and mom as they walked across the parking lot to their car. That's no excuse for jumping up and down, making a skein every time you see something they want. They see something on. Look! Look! shouted the cubs once again. Little rubber cats that stick out their tongues when you squeeze them. Sub said mom, that will cry enough. I don't want to hear another word. Oh, please, he shouted. May we have them, please, 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 Papa decided. It's time to put, uh, put us not to all the fussing. Stop that fussing, he said in, in his loudest Papa Bear voice. They were making such a commotion that they didn't even hear him. Sister was jumping up and down so hard that she fell over backward and started kicking her feet in the air. Please, please, shout the cubs. Please, please, shout the cubs so loudly that the whole parking lot took notice. Uh, he sent bears popping the toy cell. Two of those rubber pussy cats, please. Uh, the rubber pussy cats not only stick out their tongues when you squeeze them, they went squeak, squeak, squeak as well. Squeak, squeaked all the way home. Mom was quite annoyed by the time they got back to the treehouse. But Papa was so angry he could already speak. It wasn't until the cubs had gone about their business Mom had made a pot of tea that Papa's voice came back loud and clear. Of all the orcherious, disgrace, disgraceful, embarrassing behavior I have ever seen, he roared that selfish, greedy performance by our cubs was the worst. Brother and sister have, have the worst cases of the galloping, greedy gimmies I've ever seen. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Not just a book. Yes, said Mama calmly sipping her tea. But have you ever stopped to think about why they have the gimmies? Perhaps their greedy behavior is all their fault. Perhaps it's partly our fault by forgiving in every time they may fuss. Papa listened quietly. Perhaps so, he said. It's up to us, us he, she continued, to explain things to them, to help them understand why it's important not to be greedy. Then, Papa called the cubs for a talking to. He told them why it wasn't a good idea to be selfish and greedy and want everything in sight. Selfie, greedy cubs, he explained, can never be happy because you just can't have everything you want all the time. Life isn't like that, do you understand? Oh yes, uh, Papa, we understand, he said. He talked to them about counting their blessings, which enjoying the things they had instead of forever wanting more. More, more. Did that make sense to you? He asked. Oh, yes, Papa. They said it makes a lot of sense. That when the cubs heard a sound of familiar their car door, it was Grizzly Gramps and Grant come to call. Brother and sister bear ran to open the front door. Gramps and Grant came up the steps. They made the biggest butt yes yet. What you bring me? What? What? They screamed. What you bring me? What you bring me? That did it. 
Roared Papa, up to your room, and no TV or treats for a week, for a month, for a year. Without the news, this wasn't the time to argue. They scurried up stairs and into their room. We seem to have come at, the, at a bad time, said Grant. What about these things we brought with us? asked Gramps. A puzzle for brother and talk for sister. Your present will have to wait, Gramps, answered Mom. Free brother and sister have a bad case have a bad case of gimme. They galloping greedy gimme's out of Papa. The worst case I've ever seen. Cups open their door a crack to listen. You can hear from the hallway. Upstairs hallway because the downstairs hall, that's where you enter. The worst case, yes I said Gramps looking pop but in the eye seems to me that you were quite gimme cup yourself when you were a little brother and sister sneaked to the top of the stairs. They could hear better. I was said Papa. Of course we didn't have malls or supermarkets back then, but there was an old roof but there was an old roof Grizzly's general store. Wonderful so I sold about j just about everything. Honey cake, lemon rice, sticks, molasses, molasses, apples, and all sorts of toys and all the fizz to fizz. And you ever and and you did ever have gimmies, did you ever you wanted everything in sight. Downright embarrassing. Why it got so bad we couldn't go there anymore. Papa Bear got the gimmies when he was a cub. So, we worked out a deal, said Graham. When it came for a trip to the general store, you, you, when we had you decide on a treat ahead of time, it'd be a sweet, a toy, or a book. That was it for today, right, said Graham. And if you came down with gimmies, went right home and you got nothing. That sounds like a pretty good plan to me. To mom, me too, said Papa. The cobs tiptoed back to their room. It sounded okay to them too. the supermarket and they tried Gramps and Gramps and Gramps and Gramps plan and it worked. Brother decided he would get a book about dinosaurs and sister wanted a new box of crayons. Mama and Papa were very proud when the cubs passed the candy rack without so much as a peep. Her sister were pretty proud of them themselves too. of the gimmies, the kicking, screaming cub who was just behind them in the checkout line. Never heard such a fuss. What? What a gracious, disgraceful, embarrassing behavior, sister. Sister, may we leave? Yes, said brother. Let's get out of here. And that's how brother and sister Bear got rid of pretty good back case of the galloping greedy gimmies. And here's the other pack of stickers, by the way. I know I forgot this had stickers. Bye bye, that is it I have for today. And I'll upload more videos soon.